over the weekend, Rachel Notley, Alberta's new NDP Premier, swore in her cabinet. Who are these people? There was a lot of jubilation in the media. There wasn't a lot of skeptical journalism. So allow me to bring to your attention some facts that you probably haven't seen anywhere else. Let me introduce you to David Egan. He's the new Provincial Minister of Education and Culture. He's in charge of shaping young minds. What does he have to say about some important decisions cabinet will have to make about the oil sands? Well, I don't have to guess. Let's go to the videotape. Take a look at him saying no new oil sands projects. None. Just stop it. Take a look. And I say that doing the right thing means that we have no new approvals for tar sand projects yeah. and we start to invest money into a renewable energy and into a sustainable economy. Yeah. No new approvals. No new approvals. No new approvals. No new approvals. No approvals. Imagine that. Just stop. Stop the jobs. Stop the industry. Just stop it. That man is now in cabinet. He doesn't just want to stop future oil sands, he wants to shut down existing oil sands that he calls a murderous catastrophe. Think I'm making that up? Let's go to the videotape. You know, I didn't come here today to cast dispersions and to throw stones because I believe that the catastrophe that's going on <clears throat> downstream from Fort McMurray to Fort Chippewan is a responsibility that each one of us shares to end this catastrophe and end the poisoning of our waters downstream from Fort McMurray and to end this unfair treatment of people in Fort Chippewan because, as they say, the old union saying is, an injury to one is an injury to all. It's going to leave a sustainable future in Alberta the one we can leave for our children and our grandchildren, and the one that's not targeting some people like in Fort Chippewa and poisoning the land, poisoning the water, and killing the people. Well, that's David Egan, the Minister of Education and Culture. But how about a cabinet minister who will actually be making daily decisions about those hateful tar sands? That's what they actually say. They don't even call it oil sands. They hate it so much they use the disparaging word tar sands. Let's ask Shannon Phillips. She's the new environment minister. Uh, but just to, uh, before she was the environment minister, she was a union boss at the Alberta Federation of Labor. Here she is talking to her fellow Albertans about how much she wants to raise taxes on the province. Take a listen. 73% of Albertans say there's no need for the government to cut. 71% believe that Albertans are not getting their fair share of royalty revenue from our oil resources. 77 support increasing taxes for the wealthy and corporations. 72% agree with returning to progressive income tax, and so on. Well, just in case you're wondering who's going to bear the brunt of those taxes, by the way, Alberta's in a bit of an oil and gas recession, tens of thousands of jobs already lost, the price of oil was one thing, here comes the taxes. Here's Shannon Phillips talking about how she wants to sock it to not just the oil sands, but conventional oil companies. She wants to raise their royalties. Here, take a listen. We do not collect an appropriate royalty for either our oil sands bitumen or our conventional oil and gas reserves. So there you have it, two of Rachel Notley's senior cabinet ministers. One calls them tar sands that are a catastrophe that kill people and must be stopped. The other one merely says, no, let's ring it out for more tax royalties. Welcome to Alberta in 2015. For the Rebel.media, I'm Ezra Levant.